Okay, this is a Saddleback Leather iPad 2 case. This case is roughly 10 years old or so. Uh, this isn't the original case I bought because I sold my iPad and my case together. Um, I hate to say anything bad, but to make a long story short, Apple put out an update for the iPad. They slowed it down to the point it wasn't useful to me anymore. And I sold it and I moved to Android tablets. And I have them in back. I, I didn't like the way they did that. So, But anyway, Saddleback Leather did not do the update. Saddleback made a wonderful case. And I have always wanted another Saddleback case uh, for my tablet. Unfortunately, they don't make a Saddleback case for most Android tablets. Or, or any Android tablets that I know of. So, when I started putting... My Onyx, so I have my Onyx Books uh, Note 3, and I was able to get it to work in a few of the iPad cases. I decided that I would like to try to get it in one of these. I measured it, and I knew it was a little bit, I knew the case was a little bit small, but I was thinking maybe that the leather would stretch because it's very close. I'm going to show you how close it is. So if you look, you, you think this will work. But it is just too tight. It's, it's uh, about a quarter to three eighths of an inch or so. Too small. There's no way to put it in there. And even if you did, it wouldn't protect the entire face of the tablet. So I bought this thinking I was going to be able to get my tablet in it. I hate to say I was heartbroken when it didn't work. But it's my own fault. I didn't do my homework. Uh, if I'd done my homework, I would have known that. So here I'm sitting with a case for a 10-year-old iPad. And thinking, man, I sure would love to use that for something. So I had my Onyx Books Nova Pro. This was a smaller tablet. And I had it in another case. I was like, man, I would love to get it to fit in here. But as you see, it's just about the same size as the window. So if you try to use it, of course, it would fall out. You know, it, it just won't work. As you can tell, that won't work. So I kicked around some ideas and I finally decided, you know, I think I can make an adapter to make this work. So I got a piece of paneling, wooden paneling, and I traced it out and I cut it where the tablet would fit in here, centered in the window. And I cut this to fit in the case. So here's what happens. You get this and you slide it in there and that takes care of centerness in the window but of course it'll still fall out so you can't use it like that. But it did solve the first problem. So then I took an old file folder and I made this plate to go on top. So what this plate does it slides in here very, very carefully. It's actually a little bit smaller than the uh, paneling, and it's just enough to uh, hold the tablet in place. Takes a little, little finagling to get it in there. Okay, and of course you got to get it centered. When you get it centered it actually looks pretty good and most of all it won't fall out so at this point I can use this case it covers it up it secures it very well yeah you can see the wood in the back but so what makes it look that much more rustic to me so anyway that's my saddleback leather case holding my onyx books uh, Nova Pro there was only one problem in order to power it on and off, I had to pull it out every time. So I, I actually had to pull this sleeve out, dump it out, turn on the power switch. So I went back and did one more modification, and I'll show you that. It's a little bit hard to show you this, but here's the power switch. So when you lay this down, I made a mark uh, where the power switch was. And I drilled a tiny hole, and I put a paper clip in here, and then I to distribute the uh, force of paperclip, I use a little bitty piece of plastic to activate the button. Okay, 
I almost forgot the finishing touches. There was nowhere on here to store the pen. So I found this little notebook that had a pen holder on it. I cut this off and it fits underneath the leather like so. And now I have a pen holder.